Dave Palumbo with Muscle Serpents University. And we're back at Manny Crane's breeding facility, Perfect Predators, to talk about the controversial caramel albino or T-positive boa constrictor. T-positive refers to the enzyme tyrosinase that's necessary to synthesize the black pigment melanin. In a T-positive albino, the tyrosinase enzyme is actually present. However, it can't gain access to the melanophore, which is where the melanin is actually produced. What you get is a much lighter, hypopigmented snake. Why is the T-positive albino boa such a controversial morph, you may ask? Well, there are three identified bloodlines of T-positive albino. The VPI T-positive, the boa woman caramel, and the prodigy caramel. No one questions that the VPI T-positive is a unique line onto itself. However, several top breeders throughout the world have debated back and forth whether the boa woman caramel and the prodigy are the same morph, compatible genetically in every way. Well, let's join Manny Freight of Perfect Predators and take a closer look at these various lines of caramel albinos and see what his take on the subject happens to be. All right, Manny. Now, um, we were talking about caramels downstairs a little bit. The Prodigy Caramel is a line I think Jeff Ron kind of produced. He's working that line. You, you know, some people think the Prodigy Caramel and the Boa Woman Caramel are the same thing. You're of the belief that it's not. Uh, I'm of the belief that until it's bred together and they make a litter of the same mm -hmm. looking snake, uh, I, I don't want to, you know, assume that. You don't think they look alike, though, you told me. I don't, you know, I don't think they do. I mean... Show, I let's, show us what we got here. Explain what these things are. Th there's, there's, um, you know, they're caramel, though. So, sure, right. they're going to look alike. Right. But they're, they're different in many ways. Uh, let me give you an example. Where's the VPI? Are these all the same morph here? The same prodigy? Uh, th those are all prodigy. Now, here's a VPI. I mean, it's, it's, it's The VPI similar. is different. No, it's different. It is different, but it's not like... The VPI's got the little gonna, widow's she's peaks, she's right? Like yeah. yeah, she's got the little little uh, widow's peaks, and it is different, but it's not like to uh, me that to me that's way differentiated. I could definitely tell the difference between these two. I wish I had a ball woman caramel. I just stopped. I, I didn't breed any for two years in a row, and everything that I have is older, so it's kind right. of hard to. I mean, the VPI is definitely way different than the Prodigy. I think. Let's take this out so we can show the difference. I mean, look at that. It's a big difference. Yeah. Actually, like the tail on the prodigy. Yeah, there. and these are these are incompatible. Incompatible, as far as we know. Okay. Does anyone try to breed them together? I think they should have. Um, they've been both around for over fifteen years. Yeah, yeah. I think the bull went over. Which one do you like better? Man, you know what? Um, the thing with the VPI now, it's kind of like, you know, it's it's so into so many projects. You gotta, you gotta. Um, you gotta understand if you're gonna get into VPI, you can immediately pick up a jungle one, a mountain one, an IMG one. Right, you don't even if have you to get into Prodigy. You gotta do everything. Right. So it's, it's what do you want to do? do you want to so do this it is all? easier to get into. This is easier to mix and match. Because it's been. You want done. to morph away? This is the one to morph gotcha. away. Gotcha. Now you you made a um, a sun glow version of the Prodigy caramel, which is basically the hypo gene with the, with the Prodigy. Yes. Let's here it is. let's it's see that siblings. one. Look at that. You hold that one. I'll hold this one. You can show the difference. And it just lightens everything up. I mean, this really looks albino-ish, you know, whereas this one obviously is a T-positive albino, but it doesn't look as albino. So this really lightens it up a the lot. Really yeah, did a lot yeah. Too, yeah. Do you think this will be a, this is going to become very popular? Because I haven't seen any hypo prodigies really. I, I hope to. I mean, um, I, I only produced three. I'm not sure if Jeff Ronnie made any this year. I think he's made them in the past. Or no, strike that. I don't think he's done that before. This is the first year, and these were the first, but I... I believe he made some. Has anyone? The thing is, um, you know, there, there's, there's, ru you know, rumors are like a, a tube of toothpaste. <laughs> Once you push out the toothpaste, you can't get it back in the tube. Right. And there's a lot of rumors going on right now. What's so, the rumors? Well, the rumors are that this is, this, like you just said, that this could be the 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 boy woman caramel uh, from another, you know, popped up in another line somewhere else in the world mm -hmm. or somewhere else in the right. country. Uh, and then 
people are, are not so excited about something that could be the same as something else, especially something else that's mm -hmm. kind of tanking in the market. Bowl woman caramels aren't really setting the world on fire. So right. I can see a lot of why that is. But here's the thing. It's beautiful. I'm not going to stop working with it. I'm not going to stop making it. Has anyone put aneurysm into that yet? Yes, I did. You did. Would, yeah. is that, would be, that be a teapot of Moonglow? Would that be what yeah, you call it? Yeah. Uh, since the paradigm version is called an uh, Antar uh, Arctic Glow, I called it Antarctic Glow. Oh, there you go. 